Ain't you never heard of nobody having the walking blues? Now, that's what you call it when you just take off like that. Mm, now, Daddy ain't had no walking blues, but you know, Mom. He stayed right there with his family, but, but he was just as evil as he could be. My mama couldn't stand him, couldn't stand that evilness. She ran off when I was about eight. She sneaked off one night, told me she was coming back for me. I ain't never seen her no more. All his women run off and left him. He wasn't good for nobody. My turn come to head out. I was 14, got to sniffing around Joe Kane Wells' daughter. <laughs> had this old mule called Gray Boy. My daddy sent me out to do some plowing. I got to fooling around with Joe Kane Wells' daughter. Found us a nice spot. Got real cozy with each other. She about 13, so we didn't figure we grown anyway. So we down there by the creek, enjoying ourselves. Ain't thinking about nothing. Didn't know Gray Boy had gotten loose, wandered back to the house, and my daddy was looking for me. So we down there enjoying ourselves when he come up on us. Surprised us. Had them leather straps off that mule, commenced to whooping me like there was no tomorrow. I jump up, I'm mad, embarrassed. I was scared of my daddy. Now, when he commenced to whipping on me, quite naturally, I run to get out the way. Now, I think he mad because I ain't done my work. But I see where he chasing me off so he can have the gal for himself. When I see what the matter of it was, I lost all fear of my daddy, and right there I became a man, 14 years of age. Now it's my turn to run him off. I picked up them same reins he used on me. I picked up them reins. I commenced them whooping on him. Gal jump up, she run off. When he turned to face me, I knew why the devil never come and get him, because he was a devil himself. I don't know what happened. I just woke up <laughs> laying there by the creek and blew this old dog we had. He was licking my face. Both my eyes were swole shut. I thought I was blind. I couldn't see nothing. I just laid there and cried. And... Didn't know what I was going to do. But I knew time had come for me to leave my daddy's house. Suddenly the world got big. And it was a long time before I could cut it down the way I could handle it. Part of that cutting down was where I got to the place where I could feel him kicking in my blood. And I knew the only thing that separated us was a matter of a few years.